Welcome to Stored Procedures Unpacked. This course is all about writing and executing stored procedures. My goal is to help you understand stored procedures so you can take your database skills to the next level. In this course, I'll teach you how to write and use stored procedures in your own database. By the time you've completed the course, you'll have a thorough understanding of programming concepts, error catching, debugging, cursors, and transactions. You will be able to write your own stored procedures, call them from TSQL, and pass parameters, perform computations, and receive the results back to use. If you have a basic knowledge of SQL, then you can get started learning stored procedures. No prior programming is necessary. We'll start slow. You'll see that stored procedures aren't that complicated. If you're comfortable writing simple SQL, and you are comfortable with basic logic, such as if this, then that, then you're good to go. Everything is explained in simple to understand English. I'll avoid complicated jargon and promise to do my best not to confuse you. Before we get too far, let me introduce myself. I'm Chris Wenzel. I've been working with databases for over 28 years. In fact, I've worked as a developer, analyst, and DBA during those times and have gotten to really know how to use databases as well as empathize with those that don't. Whether you're an IT professional or someone in business that wants to harness the power of SQL to rocket their job, I can help. But this video is about you learning how to write database joins, so let's get to it. In this course, you'll set up a learning lab, learn about debugging, understand programming concepts such as variables, if then and while loops, realize the importance of error catching, define and execute stored procedures, use parameters to send and receive values to and from stored procedures, learn about database transactions, and get exposed to database cursors. I'm so excited you decided to take my course. If at any time you need help, just send me a message. Also, don't forget to check out the course resources. They're there to make it easier for you to learn. See you in the next lesson.